Hello everyone, welcome back to Higher Mathematics. Today we have an interesting limit. What is the limit as x approaches to zero of the function 1 plus x to the second power minus 1 all over 1 plus x cubed minus 1. So what we recommend is to plug in zero at first. What we'll have 1 square minus 1 will be zero and in our denominator we will have 1 cubed minus 1 will be 0 as well. So we have 0 over 0 is undefined, so we don't know what the value that represents. So what we're going to do in our case, let's simplify our denominator and denominator. So let's raise these to the second power and 1 plus x to the power third. So we will have the limit x approaches to 0 of the function. We will have x squared plus 2x and plus 1. This is our parentheses to the second power and minus 1. And in our denominator we will have different formula. We will have cube formula x cube plus 3x square plus 3x and plus 1. This is our parentheses and minus 1. Minus 1. This plus minus 1 we can cancel and this in our denominator we can cancel as well. So as a result we will have limit x approaches to zero of the function x square plus 2x in our denominator and in our denominator we will have x cube plus 3x square and plus 3x. So what we're going to do next? Let's use let's plug in 0 at first so we will have the same 0 over 0 so it's really good case to use a L'Hopital's rule so let's use it right now so use L'Hopital's rule we will have that this limit will be equal to the limit x approaches to 0 d over dx x square plus 2x so the derivative of our denominator all over d over dx to our denominator x cube plus 3x square and plus 3x. This will be equal to the limit x approaches to zero. The derivative of our from our denominator will be 2x and 2x will be zero. So we'll have only 2x in our denominator plus x will be 1, so plus 2. 2x plus 2 will be our derivative of a denominator, and 3x square plus 6x and plus 3. This will be derivative from our denominator. So let's plug in 0, so we will have 2 over 3. And this is our, this is our limit, this is our answer. So moreover, we can find this limit a little bit quicker because this will be the dominative power of nominator and this will be dominative power of denominator. So we will see that the highest power will be 2x and right here we will have 3x. So as a result we will have 2 over 3. If you have any question, if you have any suggestion, maybe you have other method how to solve it, write a suggestion in the comment, write a question in the comment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.